In this video, I'm going to show you how we can take an object and we can iterate through its properties. And we can do this from within a method in the class. We can also do it outside of the class. All right, so let's go ahead and create a class. Uh, let's just call this people. All right, and we're going to have a couple properties here. Let's say uh, public. say person one we'll set that to Mike person two whoops set that to uh, let's say Shelly public uh, person three whoops Okay, person three will be, let's say, Jeff. Okay, so these are all public. Now I'm also gonna add, just so you can see, I'm gonna add a protected for person four, and we'll set that to, um, let's say, John. All right, and then we'll do a private. So private person five, We'll set to Gen. Okay, so if we want to iterate through these from within the class, then we'll be able to get them all. If we're outside of it, we're not going to be able to access these two in our iteration. All right, so let's just create a method here. So we'll say function uh, iterate object. All right, and then in here, we're going to use a for each loop. Okay, so for each, and what we have to do is put in this as key value, because we can get the key and the value here. All right, and then what we'll do is let's print, um, we're going to print our key, we'll say key to the value, all right? Uh, and let's do a little line break here. Okay, so now what we want to do is outside of the class, we need to instantiate it. So let's say class, or we'll say people equals new people. Oops. Okay, people equals new people. And then we need to call the iterate object. All right, so let's see what that gives us. All right, so we get person one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we know we can do that. Now, if we want to do this from outside, let's just um, Actually, you know what, let's comment this whole function out. Okay, and then down here, we're going to do a for each. Okay, and we're going to pass in people as key value. And we want to get rid of this for now. Actually, let's just comment it out. All right, and then in here, we want to do the same thing we did here. I'm just going to copy that. Okay, and we'll go ahead and save that. And if we reload, you'll see that it's giving us person one, two, and three. All right, so it's, it's not allowed to access protected and private. All right, if we were to change four, person four to public and we reload, then that's fine. That's going to work. All right, because it's public. So that's object iteration. All right, so we've talked about most of the, the, the main concepts of PHP and object oriented programming. Now in the next uh, in the next section, we're going to look at how we can connect to a database and do different types of interaction, add data, uh, read, uh, update, delete, 
and we'll, we're going to bring us closer to being able to build a real application, which we'll do um, in the last section. All right, so I will see you in the next video.